for Mark Dover after a bit of an extended break. What's your thoughts ahead of the game? Yeah, it's going to be a really difficult game. Um, Andy Hesson Tyler is a very experienced manager, and then he's got Dover and really competitive. In a, and like I said, they're going to be a they're going to be a dangerous animal. Um, you know, they haven't got a lot to lose. They faced a lot of adversity this year with the points deduction, and um, you know they've they've shown spirit and desire and determination in every game. Um, you can only see that, um, you know, away at Stockport a couple of games ago, um, who they went toe to toe with probably the informed team in the in the league right up to you know the final final stages. So a really difficult game awaits, a really tricky opponent, and one that we have to be our absolute best, fully focused, and uh, you know we need to execute a lot more. A little more conviction than we have probably in our last two games. So I'm um, excited to see the reaction from our boys. Um, yet yeah, we've had 10 days and we've prepared the best we can. Um, you know, we've trained very hard, um, battled the elements a little bit as well. But um, yeah, we've, um, you know, we're fully focused. We've prepped the best we can and we're, we're ready to put our best foot forward. That was my next question, really. How has the bit of extended break, I guess, affected the preparations for this game? Uh, well, it's given us more time on the training ground, which is what we needed probably. Uh, we needed a little reset. Uh, we were really disappointed with the Barnet game. The Grimsby game is always going to be a tough place to go. And we've probably uh, matched them for large spells, but they've shown more quality at the times when they needed to. And we didn't. And that should hurt us. And it has hurt us. Um, you know, there can be no excuses. We've got to be able to compete in every game. And we've probably come up a little bit short in the last two weeks. So, um, you know, we'll... We've hopefully learnt a few lessons. We've worked hard to fix that, and we're we're ready now after a little reset to get to get going again. And uh, you know, Dover had the same. They've had games called off, so they've had the same period off as as most clubs. It's been a bit of a, a bit crazy out there with the weather at the moment. So um, you know, we're just delighted to get back out onto that pitch and um, put a few things right. Of course, with a bit of an extended break, it's also seen the injured players continue their recovery. How is everyone doing? Yeah, again, a 10-day period has allowed Kevin Locko to train with us fully. So he he's really is nearing that, that return to play, um, getting closer. Uh, again, we'd have to be, we have to be careful. We're going to have to probably try and blood him in gently. Um, but again, um, he's got more, more training time under, under his belt, which is a great thing for us. Uh, it really probably just leaves our, our captain, Lewis Kinsella, who's um, continuing his, his rehab to come back from, from that knee injury. So we're hoping that he's uh, you know, not too far away, but certainly not, he's not going to be available short term at the moment. Looking at obviously playing Dover, obviously your game away at their place was your first victory as manager here. Looking at where we are now, how do you reflect on your time? Um, I don't really reflect too much, to be fair, Henry. Don't have a chance to. It's just about what next. We reflect on the last game. We reflect on the last training session. We look to try and improve every day. Um, you know, at the moment, we are higher than we were then. And we've got to fight every day to, to, to stay there. This, this league is, is very tough. There's going to be plenty of twists and turns and we've just got to make sure we look after our, our own house and take care of business. Obviously, a lot's made of Dover and obviously the points deduction and things like that, but it's important we go into the game professionally and with the attitude we should. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, this is a real dangerous animal we're taking on here. So, um, you know, they're a good side. Everyone who's in this league is a good side and challenge you in different ways. And that's the beauty of this league. You have to be at your best every week and we've got to find a way of of getting back to our best tomorrow. Looking at the young squad we've got, obviously, then go out there and you know hopefully put on a performance tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. I think you know we are a youthful, a youthful group, um, but with that comes energy, um, and and also you know hopefully signs of improvement as well. We've got to we've got to want to improve. We've got to want more, and that's what we've asked for in the last ten days. The boys have worked really hard, and we're looking to put that hard work into into fruition tomorrow. Are you in with the shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.